Today, the victim, who is 73 years old, is talking from his hospital bed. An amazing story. He was flown to Cedars Medical Center for the delicate operation, and now we're actually seeing the results of the surgery. We have to warn you, though, some of the pictures may be a bit disturbing. CBS 4's Lisa Cabrera has the story. What is remarkable about this case is the patient, a 73-year-old man with a history of heart problems, willing to risk his life just to save his four fingers for a very special reason. I was the one who said, I'll never go to Florida. I said, I can't stand the heat. <laughs> no, I can't stand the cold. <laughs> In a split second of careless maneuvers, a carpenter who loves wood loses four fingers to a wide-tooth power saw. I actually felt no pain. It was a sudden thing. It just grabbed my fingers and, and just ripped them right off, and I actually felt no pain. The incredible pain, Joseph Jacobic says, would come later in the emergency room. Doctors sending his frantic, badly shaken wife to search for two of the fingers still missing on the floor of Jacobic's bloodied home wood shop. She put him into a bag of ice, and she brought the fingers back to the hospital. Jacobic must decide, undergo an extremely rare replantation of all four digits, even though he's got a coronary stent. It is a, a, a risky thing, because it's a prolonged anesthesia in an elderly guy who does have a cardiac history, as he does. The 73-year-old says no question. He needs his four fingers in order to continue the hobby he loves. For my grandchildren, I'm making uh, uh, chime clocks hanging on a wall. It, uh, they ring the Westminster chimes in them. I sent them away for the chimes, and I got... Then they had a swinging pendulum underneath the face of the clock, and so they just hang that on the wall. The surgery is a six-hour delicate procedure. And we have to sew it, and it has to be done technically so perfect that, that when you look at the tube where the blood goes, it has to be so meticulous that clot doesn't form on the inside and cause a finger to turn white. Six days later, Jacobic is released from Cedars Medical Center, and then the moment of truth. The bandages are slowly removed. Family members anxious and hopeful the fingers have circulation. The fingers still healing appear healthy. Jacobic already dreaming of building with wood again. Because my grandchildren, are, they're the world to me. Jacobic's prognosis is good. He will probably never be able to make a fist, but doctors say he will likely have full use of his four fingers. And more importantly, Jacobic says, will be able to continue making furniture for his four kids, seven grandchildren. In Kendall, Lisa Cabrera, CBS4 News.